Hi and welcome to another video by Get It Done Home Repairs. Today's project is we're going to be planting this grapevine in its permanent location right here. Now it is personal preference how far apart you want to space the plants. Some places say six feet, some say eight, some say ten. If you have limited space you can do six feet apart of course just to uh, to reduce the amount of, uh, of, of, of land you're going to be using to plant the, uh, the grapevines. I am going to plant this one right here and it's going to be five feet from the corner post I have here and five feet from a corner post over here. The vines I'm going to plant on this side are going to be a little bit closer because I have limited space at this particular location. Now this one here is going to be spaced out probably about six feet in between it but this one here I'm going to center in the in this opening right here so it's going to be five foot from the end of the gate here to the end of the gate over here as well all right so what we're going to need to do is of course we're going to need our measuring tape to measure where we're going to put it we are going to need our grapevine of course a shovel for some digging we're going to use a small tool such as this to uh, throw the dirt back in around the roots and we may need some um, additional topsoil or compost or whatever you need. Now as you can see here I already tilled this soil and I put in the uh, the topsoil that I needed. I put in uh, the raised bed uh, planting material and you can see I put in some uh, some white material to help it drain a little bit better. Alright so enough talking let's get in here we're going to dig the hole. We are going to dig the hole twice the diameter of the root ball for this particular plant so that way it has plenty of room for the roots to spread out when they start to grow. Now as you can see this vine here has got two shoots coming up. It is late in the season so it's already starting to bud so we cannot cut off this one shoot right here but we will make it one single shoot on a future video but for now we're going to have to deal with this one here until after it goes dormant at the end of the season and then we can take off that one particular uh, that one particular arm of it. All right, so let's get in here, let's dig our hole, and let's get this thing planted. Now, as I said, I did till the soil already, so this soil is actually very, um, very soft. But if you don't have good soil, you may have to add, uh, drainage is very important when you plant grapes. So you want to make sure you have good draining soil so that the vine can flourish and do very good. We are going to plant it to the top of the, um, the dirt right here. We're going to put it into the ground so that the top of the dirt here is even with the dirt here. And then we'll fill it in around the bottom. Okay. Then you just take your pot and just squeeze it together a couple of times just like that to get it loosened up. And you want, to, you want to set it the way that you want the, the, uh, the vine to grow. Like this particular vine is growing forward. So we're going to actually put so that the vine goes from, from this side here. Like this. All right, as I said, this one will be cut off. And this one will be a primary shoot coming up to the trellis that we're going to build on a future video. Now just so you know, I'm going to put a post in here, a post in here, and then we're going to string a wire across it so that when this gets uh, fully grown, we can train it to walk across the wire and grow along the wire so that we have a nice, uh, a nice area for the grapes to grow. Alright, so let's get in here, let's put this in, and we'll move on to the next one. Okay, and once you've got it to your height that you're going to be comfortable with, now you want to loosen up the root ball so that the roots can spread and grow the way that they're supposed to. Very important that you get the roots loosened up so that they can grow into the new area that it's going to be planted in. We are going to set this a little crooked because this is, as I said, is going to be our primary shoot coming up right there. And that's where we're going to be happy with it. So that's the way we're going to plant it right there. All right, now we're going to backfill it a little bit. You don't want to pack it in too tight around the roots. You want to let the, uh, the water bring the dirt down so it packs it around the roots themselves. We 
just going to push it down just a little bit. We're not going to push too hard down on it, just a little bit. And we'll bring the rest of the soil around. We're going to go grab a bucket of water now. And we're just going to water this a little bit so that the, the dirt can fill in down in the voids down below. So let's get a bucket of water and we'll continue with that. Okay, so now that's looking pretty good. We're just going to bring in the rest of the soil. Okay, so that's it. Our grapevine is now planted. We are, as I told you, we're going to have this growing up. The wire up to the top wires we're going to put up in here, but we'll do that in the future video. This one in the fall will come off when we'll get rid of that. And the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to continue to water this for probably, I'm going to say a couple of weeks until the roots get established. And once the roots are established, we should be good to go. All right, let's grab our next vine. Let's go over here and plant that second grapevine. Okay, so here we are. We're going to plant our second, or I should say our third grapevine in the ground right here now. Now, we do have one planted right over here, which I know you can't see it, but it's right over on the side right here. This is where I'm going to plant our second grapevine because, as you can see, this is my gardening area, and I will have to have it fenced in because, unfortunately, my dogs think that it's their private uh, area to dig. She's, she's already dug up one of the grapevines, which I had to replant, so we're going to have to fence this area off here to keep the dogs out. That's why it's in such a tight area. Um, all right, so we determined we're going to plant this. Now we're going to put this, we're going to plant it six feet away from the other grapevine now, and that'll give it three feet for that vine to grow this way and three feet of this vine to grow that way. Now, like I said, it's personal preference. You want to do uh, six foot, you want to do eight foot, you want to do 10 foot. It's all personal preference and depending on the, the amount of property that you have. Now again, I'm going to put a trellis here. I'm going to put a corner post on that side over there. I'm going to put another corner post behind me. We're going to string two wires across here. So we're going to have uh, one of the grapevines grow one left, one right, and then we're going to have it grow higher and grow across the top wire as well, left and right. It'll give us more growing area for the grapes to, uh, to grow. All right, enough talking. Let's get in here. Let's dig this hole and let's get this, uh, this last one planted. That's it. Now we are going to, just so you know, we are going to stake it with something here temporarily just to hold the vine in position until I can uh, get up in here and put the trellis system up that I wanted to install. But that's it. That's all there is to, uh, to planting grapevines. Just make sure this one here, as you can see, the root ball fell apart in my hands. But if yours is really firm or hard, you want to loosen up that root ball so that all of the roots can spread and grow throughout the ground. But that's it. This job is done. And at the end of the growing season, we'll do a follow-up video to show you what these uh, grapevines look like and how they've grown. I will do a video on installing a trellis system here too, but that'll be at a future date. As you can see, we drove in some seven foot piping into the ground. We stretched our trellis or a wire that the grapevines are going to grow across. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to train them now to start to crawl across that wire. Now just so you know, this is the beginning of August, so we still have a bit more time to grow. As they grow a little bit longer, then of course we'll connect it up to the wire so that it actually grows along the wire by itself. And once we get our tomato plants out of here, we'll have a lot more room to get in there and work. Uh, now the grapes, you know, they run in the, the season, or grow season is a little bit longer than the tomatoes, but once the tomatoes are out of there, we'll be able to get in and we'll teach the vines how to crawl along the wires. And next year we should have a nice, uh, a nice uh, trellis system with all the, uh, the grapes then growing where they're supposed to be. All right, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.